In this video, we'll take you on a visual journey throughout Cologne, where you'll hear some opinions from people who are from there. You will see the city of Cologne, Isla Grande, Isla Mame, Portobello, places in between, and so much more. Some of the topics covered are the food, opinions of what needs to happen to change the state of Cologne, and the best thing about Cologne, the people. Hey, Mika, I love your smile. Thank you. I want to understand. Tell me, is this your man? <laughs> Welcome to your visual journey in part three from our series on Cologne, Panama. It's necessary that people understand that when you have a city so deteriorated, you need certain kind of investment. Investment is And those building. people that invest in, they expect to recover back their money. Exactly. That's the business, That's right? The, business, yeah. the buildings seem have to come down and bring up new buildings for investment business. Everybody have to come out from Cologne to make Cologne grow and have to make a new city. But who's going to come in? Um, might be good people, same, the same people, same, but in a name, a, a different language and a different mentality. Yeah, I, I think that sometimes, sometimes it's hard for us to admit that what we have is not the best of us. But we need to understand that that sometimes that not all the grass is good. For the bad grass too. You have bad grass too, <laughs> and you have to remove the bad grass to make the good grass comes in. Remove it and burn it. Burn it and bring in the and good, grass. good grass. Good grass. And make it grow the and way up the Sometimes it's a little hard to admit it when we talk like that. But when you look around, you have to admit that you have people that simply don't care. No matter if you talk to them, no matter if you show them how to do it, they just don't care. So what can you do with people that have that mentality? Some people, yeah. not everybody. Not everybody. Because I see the potential and I know what the city, how the city was in the past. And I'm pretty sure that we have all the resources to make it better. Oh my gosh, that the food in Cologne is like an explosion of flavor. Also, I love that everything that you are eating has a history behind. As it's related to freedom, it's, it's, it's related to love, and it always tastes something. It tastes your grandma, it tastes your friends, it tastes your neighbor. It's delicious. It's very hard to say one single thing why you love Cologne. This is the little space that God gave us. And this is every day. This is the energy, you know. We we always say that the first resource of a, of a city or of any nation or of the planet is the people. So I recognize that for what it really worth. So that's why I'm here. And that's why I will never leave Cologne.
Wapin Kolong. <laughs> Kolong is something special. Oh, yeah. Kolong have a, a nice mind and a nice heart. Pardon the interruption. Unlock a world of exclusive content by becoming an AbroadAbility channel member. We are bringing you behind the scenes of life abroad with unscripted content that doesn't make it into the regular videos. Watch intimate glimpses into my daily life as an expat with cerebral palsy, including doctor's visits, ATM and bank runs, shopping, markets, holidays, and more. All recorded just for you. Welcome to the AbroadAbility membership family and thanks to those who have already joined. See you soon behind the scenes of my life as an expat. If you enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing, becoming a channel member, or watching our series on Cologne up next. See you in the next one.